Somebody asked me recently, what's the one thing in marketing that has changed every single month? Well, I swapped that question with, well, how about the one thing that hasn't changed? And the one thing that hasn't changed in marketing over the last 10 years I've been doing it is the follow-up. You probably already have enough leads coming into your business to where if you just focused on follow-up, you can increase sales and most importantly, increase profits. Hey there, my name is Brad Smith, owner of Automation Links. I've been doing this marketing stuff for the last 10 years and I've helped over 2,500 people follow up with their leads. Whether you're new, you've been running a business for a few years or you're focused on scaling, it always comes down to follow up whenever we set up marketing and ads. Now in today's video, I'm gonna give you my five steps of following up with email. So you can simply copy and paste these into your business. We'll be sharing the screen here so you can see the flow and the actions you should take to set these up. Now there's tons of ways you can follow up. And if you subscribe to my channel, you'll be able to see my other videos where I show you how to follow up on social media, follow up using ads, follow up on emails, follow up on websites. There's so many ways to follow up. And what you're gonna to learn today is how to follow up to increase sales in your business. Because not everyone is ready to purchase today. Not everyone's ready to buy from you tomorrow. They're not ready to buy next week or maybe not even next month. But when they are ready to buy, who are they gonna buy from? Are they gonna buy from you because you're top of mind and you followed up? Or are they gonna buy from a competitor? Or are they gonna start all over and do another search online? And what we don't want is for them to go search or go to a competitor. So tip number one is I always want you to send a personalized style email. And just like this, if they come in from your website, your lead magnets, your landing pages, your social media, we want to give them something of high value and send them a personal style email like you would send from your Gmail or your Outlook account. Now there's multiple reasons you want to send a personal style email. Reason number one is they hit the inbox better. So instead of going to the promotion or spam folder, since it's a new email subscriber, you're going to land in their inbox. Now if I saw a newsletter style email, most likely I'm not opening it right away or it just doesn't look as personal. But if I saw a personal style email that said, hey Brad, thank you for filling out the form, I'm more likely to open that and see what my next step should be. So what I always suggest is write that first email with a customer or a lead in mind. Think of the most recent lead that came into your business. Go to your Gmail or Outlook and write a personal email thanking them for signing up for your offer and telling them what the next steps are. Instead of sending the email, save it as your draft, copy and paste it and put it in your email marketing software. Now, if you don't have a marketing software for emails or you're looking for a new one, I have my favorites listed down below in the description. Go ahead and steal those. But we want to make this personal, build a relationship, give them what you promised them on your landing page or your contact form, and then have them take another action. Encourage them to schedule with you. Give them a coupon code. Encourage them to go to a blog post or follow you on social media. Those are some main keys on that first email to start building a relationship with your new leads. And then they expect you to continue following up with them from there. Tip number two, provide value and education in your emails. So after somebody fills out a form, don't just go into selling mode like most businesses do. Provide education, provide value, provide help. Encourage them to schedule with you, follow you on social media, or read a blog post. We always send YouTube videos where you can watch my YouTube videos and learn from me. That's providing education and value to you after you join my newsletter list. I don't talk about my prices. I don't give you a coupon code. I don't tell you about the products we offer. I say, hey, if you're struggling with follow-up, here's a video you can learn from to help you follow up. And when you're ready, you know where to come to me to purchase. You go to the website and you go to the store. <laughs> it's easy as that. So you don't wanna start selling in your emails. You wanna continue providing value, provide education. Go to your Google Analytics and look for your most read blog post and turn that into a newsletter or an email to send them on that next few emails. Make it personal, make it plain text like I talked before. You can send newsletters later on, but the more personal and relationship focused you keep these first emails, the more likely you're gonna stay in the inbox. Email number three, a case study or review. Start sharing a story of somebody just like me that you've helped. This makes it relatable. It makes them feel like you've worked with other people like them. Share the case study and review of the experience of another person like them working with you. So now you're still not selling. You're just saying, hey, you could be just like this person that reached these results working with us. And that's one of the emails you wanna share. 
Show that you're excited, that you're motivated, because I know you are. If you have a business, you enjoy helping people with whatever service you offer. So share that. Show your excitement. Get them back to your website to see other case studies and other reviews. Show the results. Maybe the problem that the person had when they came into your business, what you did to fix that problem and how you solved it. That's really key because maybe I was looking for a solution and now I see another person you help with that same problem and you're the one offering the solution for me. That's going to make me want to try it. That's going to make me want to be like that person. I want you to help me fix my problems, provide the solution to me. So that's where you want to share the case studies and reviews to make it relatable and how you solve the pain point that your customer was looking for. Tip number four, make sure you are following up after your meetings or after any call to action. So you can see here on the page that we always encourage somebody to schedule with us. And after they schedule, I send them the calendar invite so they don't forget. I send them a text message so they make sure they show up. But I think most important, after we show up for that meeting and I remind them, I do a next steps email. I basically say, hey, thanks, by the way, for scheduling the call, I appreciate it. This is what's gonna happen next. Send them an email, a text message, thanking them for the time. So now you're sending an email and a text before the meeting, they have that open communication with you and they're expecting something from you. Then after the meeting, don't just leave it. And that's what brand I see brands forget about the most is after somebody schedules and you talk to them and you build that relationship, then it just goes silent. Send an email the next day, thanking them for the time, asking them to follow you on social media, asking if they have any more questions, giving them a next steps solution, but basically opening, keeping that communication open. I used to do this on podcasts. I used to interview people on podcasts, on my relationship marketing podcast. Then after the call the next day, I'd say, thank you for being on the podcast. By the way, did you know that we help you with your follow-up? Then I would send another email. Hey, follow me on LinkedIn. Then I would send another email. Hey, here's some quick tips for you. So what you can do is keep building relationships and value and educating after the call instead of just going silent and having them wait for your proposal or whatever's gonna happen next. Tip number five, last but not least, make sure you are always top of mind. We wanna send them a newsletter style email, however you can keep it the most consistent, whether that's monthly, weekly, bi-weekly, the goal is to stay top of mind. So they've gone through some automated emails where you build relationships. They've seen your case studies. You've asked to schedule a call. Maybe if you're e-commerce, they got your coupon codes. But now maybe they just weren't ready to buy those first one or two weeks from you of following up. So what we want to do is stay top of mind so they don't forget. Not like I mentioned at the beginning, not everyone's ready to sign up today. But when they're ready, we want them to continue getting value from you in those newsletters so they don't forget about you. So they should be seeing your social media post. Hopefully they're seeing your retargeting ads, which I'll cover in my next video. Of course, we want them seeing your emails. So whether that's the monthly, bi-weekly, or weekly, whatever you can do on your cadence, keep it consistent so they know when they should expect those emails to come. Just like us, we send a newsletter every Wednesday at 12. You know that now, and you're expecting that email. It's gonna provide a ton of value. Now, when you're ready, your customers are ready to buy, they can respond back to that newsletter. They're gonna to go to your website. They'll call you. They know where to look. You don't have to tell them. But what you wanna do is stay top of mind so they never forget about you. All right, so which one of these follow-up techniques do you like? Are you gonna try them all? Are you already using them in your business? Do you follow up with your leads this many times? Will they remember you? And that's the key. You probably already have enough website visitors unless you're brand new. You might even have enough leads. But if you don't follow up with them, you have to start with a new batch of people every time. So imagine you have this big group of people. You don't want them all falling off the cliff every month. You want them staying with you so you are reminding them. You'll have a couple join next week. You have a couple join next month. You'll have a couple more join in a couple months from now. It's a compounding effect that builds off each other. And the more leads you get where you're automatically following up with them, the more will sign up on a consistent basis. So I hope this video brought you a ton of value and I want you to keep following up. And I want you to keep making sure that your leads never forget about you. And of course, if this video brought you any value, leave me a comment below. Let me know if it did. And we'd love to help you with your follow-up someday. So subscribe to the channel and I will see you on the next video.